Amazing. So, good evening, fellow developers, and a very warm welcome to an online session of GDSE MESCO, which is an ML introduction session. And we have a big tie-up today. We have collaborated with Microsoft Learn Student uh, Program, and our senior Manav is going to speak uh, about it uh, in the session as well. Uh, I know many of you all wanted an offline session, but don't worry, guys. The main session, which is the hands-on experience on ML Azure, will be an offline session, and more details about the session will be shared uh, as today's session progresses. So now, uh, before we start our event, let's have some games. Uh, on the screen, we'll show you uh, posters of movies. And you guys have to guess in the chat box which movie it is, right? So I'll say the movie's poster name, uh, red border poster, yellow border poster, and just type it in in the chat box, right? This amazing liquid. Okay. Next slide, please, Mana. Yes. So the first poster, which is in the red border, please uh, spam in the chat box if you guys know which movie it is. I'm pretty sure lockdown is up coffee movies they care, right? Okay. This is saying it's the Matrix. Any other answers? The Matrix. Pankaj is saying the Matrix. Prati. Yes. काफी लोगों ने मूवी देखी है यार ये फेमस वन यस यू ऑल आर राइट इट इज द मैट्रिक्स नाउ द वन ऑन योर राइट सिल्वर बॉर्डर स्पैमड इट अगेन कम ऑन गाइस टाइप इट इन फास्ट इफ यू गाइस नो द मूवी इन द सिल्वर बॉर्डर Wrap up again with the answer. Okay, Star Wars, Star Trek. Anyone else answering? Yes, this was the Star Wars movie. Um, most of. Everyone of you got it right. Now moving to the third movie, the one in the blue border. Is so happy to this. I guess most of you will must be knowing this. This is again with the answer. Amazing web of again. Quick answer. The amazing is Tanisha as well. Cost two. Yes, this is the Interstellar, guys. The most famous movies of all time. Now, moving to the fourth movie, the one in the yellow border. Type it in fast, guys. Let's see how many of you know this movie. Okay, Tanisha is saying Wall E. So three are saying Wall E. Any other answers? That was quick again. Yes, guys, it is the Wall E. Again, a very famous movie. Uh, the next slide, please. Yes, again, quite famous movies here. Spam it in the chat box if you all know the first one. Whoever is saying Ravan, S R K all time favorite, right? Ravan again, yes. Yes, it seems everyone likes this stuff here. Yes, it is Ravan, guys. Now the second one, Silver Water. Yeah, a very famous movie. Here, you do it again. Saying Terminator. Yes, you will see Terminator as well. Is 
Vaibhav again. Quite consecutive answers from Vaibhav. He's seen a lot of movies. Yeah, so yeah. Shishir again. I mean, yes, it is the Terminator movie, guys. Now, the third one, I guess this is everyone's favorite, and most of you all know this movie, the one in the blue border, Alien Man. That was quick. Bravo. Yes, Iron Man, Age of Ultron. Yes, do you all also know the? Yes, Iron Man, Iron Man. Yes, Jarvis and Iron Man, quite famous. Now coming to our last movie, let's see how many of you do know this one, Yellow Border. Wait, guys, that was great by Kaus too. You should try it. Anyone else wants to type in? Pass, guys. Yes, it is the I robot. Right answers. Most of you all got the answers right, and yeah. Moving on now to the session. Now I would like to introduce you all. To our dear senior and tech savvy senior, he is Alpha Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador and also the core at GDS UNESCO. That's amazing. And moreover, he has also secured All India Rank Eight at Hackfest at IIT Dhanpur. That's amazing, right? And give a round of applause, guys, to our senior Manav Mandal. Hey, Manav, please take over the session. हेलो प्रतमेशा मैं ऑडिबल यस यू आर ऑडिबल ओ थैंक यू प्रतमेश फॉर द वंडरफुल इंट्रोडक्शन इट फाइनली फील गुड टू बी ऑन द अदर साइड ऑफ बीइंग इंट्रोड्यूस्ड एंड आई एम वेरी एक्साइटेड फॉर टुडेस इवेंट दिस इवेंट एंड द अपकमिंग वन विल ट्रूली बी वन ऑफ अ काइंड इवेंट्स वेयर यू गेट अ डीप इनसाइट ऑन हाउ एआईएमएल वर्क्स व्हाट आर द रियल वर्ल्ड एप्लीकेशंस एंड हाउ योर पर्सपेक्टिव अबाउट एआईएमएल चेंजेस So the topic for today is getting started with AI and ML on Azure. But before we move ahead, I'd like to make a few things clear. Today I won't be your friendly neighborhood technical core from GDSC Moscow. Today I'll be joining in as Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador. So we've all heard a lot about Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador. I've heard people talking about it. I've heard students coming to me and asking me what it is. we've seen it in stories we've seen it in whatsapp statuses in posts and a lot uh, whatsapp messages and many more but what exactly is this mlsa how it all started let's take a look at my application video to microsoft the journey from a student to a student ambassador pratamesh just confirms uh, is my screen visible and can we hear the audio i am Uh, second year computer engineering yeah working well all right hi microsoft i am manav mandi uh, second year computer engineering student at model education society college of engineering and this is my application video for microsoft student partner program bill gates once said that power comes not from knowledge kept but from knowledge shared and i frankly couldn't agree more i love sharing what i've done i love sharing my knowledge with others and i also love hearing people talk about technology over the past 2 years i have worked on a few projects and collaborated with a lot of people i have developed a website for posting your blogs i've also developed a website for tourism using the flask framework i've also worked on a few machine learning projects such as sentiment analysis and pneumonia detection using tensorflow and keras and i absolutely love sharing what i've done i love explaining things Among my peers, I'm always available for a talk from something as simple as choosing a code editor or something as complex as deep learning. What excites me the most about technology is the limitless avenues, the limitless pathways, the limitless possibilities that have become available to all of us. 
in today's world it's not that we just use technology we live and breathe technology our generation is lucky enough to experience the amazing applications of fields like machine learning cloud computing cloud infrastructure and even iot and the list goes on and on microsoft has been a huge part in all of this right from windows xp to now windows 11 we have seen a lot of tools and products from microsoft such as microsoft surface visual studio etc etc that have created a big impact in all our lives and also in today's technology it would be an honor for me to join this family learn new technology and share it with the entire world thank you are you planning okay in the cards so yeah that was my application video coming back to today i've got a good haircut i've got this new frame and that's it um i'm missing something aren't i yeah i'm also the alpha microsoft learn student ambassador alpha being the keyword over there but this video still doesn't clear up what microsoft learn student ambassador is all i did was explain how i am uh, you know dedicated towards community finding a community is more important than ever as the world moves ahead into a collaborative mindset abhi lockdown hua tha and the only way we moved ahead we the only way to go forward was with each other at the heart of it any technical club has to be about community take gdsc for an example here we learn from each other we teach you guys you guys teach us new things we grow together as a community Similarly, there is a Microsoft community where we use technology, we use tools, services, resources, and much more to solve real-life problems and become better developers. Plus, we also build communities across the globe. Be a force for good locally and globally. You might find yourself helping fellow students build their coding skills online with Microsoft Learn. organizing a virtual hackathon to solve real world challenges earning certifications or building digital communities so microsoft learn what is microsoft learn it's a community like it's a platform like coursera instead here developers experts and students like you and me write down entire courses write down entire pathways for students to follow to develop themselves and this is beneficial and more effective in for me at least because a student has gone through the effort of finding new pathways which was helpful to him the errors he faced the challenges he faced is all being covered in microsoft learn and truly it has been amazing last last month we had a social impact league project basically it was a virtual hackathon where we grouped up with various microsoft ambassadors from all over the world i met new people we developed projects which were providing solutions that were more greener and cleaner in tech for example the extension which you get in one note where if you are visually impaired or you are specially aided you just can click on it and it reads out the entire content for you it is not developed by developers from microsoft but it is a virtual hackathon project organized by microsoft you can earn certifications you build digital communities like we are doing right now we are a part of community and we are building it so benefits of being a student ambassador make a difference with students from around the world connect with other students who share your passion in focused leagues and use tech to solve real world challenges together so as ambassadors we are divided into different leagues like league ai ml league data science league web development league low code development whatever suits your choice so there are thousands of leagues to join where you are provided with resources you are provided with all the help that you'll ever need to develop a project or just to explore it for fun grow your skills build your reputation as a tech insider kick start your training with certifications for support for virtual events and unique access to experts and mentors so like i mentioned in the previous slide we are provided with all the help we need we are come all our events are backed by microsoft for example we were also backed by subway as refreshments but it is only possible in offline events and that was before covid and it isn't available now so i would like all of you to thank covid from your heart and become a leader in a local tech community and empower your peers host digital events offer guidance to other students own recognition that separates your resume from the pack so completing this milestone right now 
this is a digital event and not necessary it should be a digital event but this is a basic intro session so it is a digital event and i am completing it right now we are building a community we are hosting a event we are empowering the community coming to today's topic introduction to ai before we move ahead with what is ai what are the applications i would like to ask you guys a question how many of you guys have used ai in your daily life and what is the application put it in the chat and i'll see i like to see any innovative answers type in guys alexa great so basically a virtual assistant siri virtual assistant i'm sure you might have used it somewhere so i'd like to point out we just had our insems online if you remember correctly google lens has been a huge part of it jaydeep very nice answer i liked it social media feeds it is curated according to what the user might like tesla self driving system self driving tesla in gta nice google maps what else i guess these are uber i am not sure about how uber uses ai but i am sure they might use it some way or the other so coming back to the session ai enables us to build amazing software that can improve healthcare enable people to overcome physical disadvantages empower smart infrastructure create incredible entertainment experiences and even save the planet blah 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 i'm going on and on but let's take a look at this video artificial intelligence isn't coming it's here it's the defining technology of our time but it's human ingenuity that makes it so powerful jane started losing her vision when she was 12 California Street. She uses seeing AI. I crept down the I stairs, crept down the the stairs and out the door, which enables her to read and navigate her world. Microsoft AI is helping farmers adapt to climate change. We can use technology to help feed the world without wrecking the planet, enabling wildlife conservation. The ability to use AI really democratizes science. Wild me uses images from any source to help study endangered species and creating new ways for people with hearing loss to communicate. I want the exact same information that my hearing friends have. It's more than just imitating intelligence or sounding like a human. Microsoft AI is changing every industry from healthcare and now you can see these finite details, the relationship with many structures to engineering. and telecommunications. We are using artificial intelligence to change the way we are relating to customers. AI lets us put people first. The Microsoft tools really enabled us to breathe digital life into an iconic brand persona. The product that we make is not a thing in a box. No. Microsoft AI empowers others to create experiences and potential. This is just the beginning. artificial intelligence it's just opened up this whole world the future we invent is a choice we make so i'm sure you guys might have liked the video and it is truly amazing there was a key point keyword over there that it's not just about imitating it's about creating something new and i frankly couldn't agree more because um i'm i'm not sure ki if you guys have watched the imitation game if you guys haven't it's absolutely wonderful you should watch it so there's this guy called alan turing in 195 um, in 1960s or 50 he proposed the turing test it's basically a test to identify whether a computer can think intelligently like a human or not so the test goes something like this it's a three player game uh, there are two humans and a computer one of the humans is the interrogator he is supposed to ask questions to both the human and the computer 
and he gets replies from both of them. Now, the job of the interrogator is to identify which of the answers is from the computer. And obviously, he's not able to see where he's getting the answers from. That wouldn't be much of a test. So that's the Turing test to uh, identify whether a computer is artificially intelligent or not. For example, if I give you guys a number, what's um, 7,42,598 times 69,420? So a human would probably take a long time to calculate it, or even with the calculator, you'll have to type in and then you, you'll get a result and you'll speak it. So it will probably take some time and then you'll give an answer. The computer, if it is artificially intelligent, what it'll do is it'll take some, it'll take a long pause and then give you a wrong answer. So the job of the computer is to make it difficult for the inter interrogator to distinguish between a human and a computer. So this is the Turing test. This is what we do in AI and ML. Uh, I'm, I missed a point here. This session will be an introductory session. Here you'll truly un understand how AIML is being used in the in real world life. So, like we saw in the video, sh there's the lady had some uh, physical. She was physically handicapped, and she used seeing AI to improve herself. The guy wasn't able to take notes and wasn't able to communicate like a normal human being, but with seeing AI, it is possible. So now this. AI services that I'm talking about is present in Azure Cloud. And basically, so we won't be focusing on the entirety of Azure Cloud. We just need to focus on AI services. We'll start one step at a time. So what are the services present in Azure? You get pre-built AI, you get conversational AI, you get custom AI. We'll basically be dealing with three these three services. And I'll, I assure you that you don't need to be an expert developer to understand any of it or implement it in your project. Let's look at the first point, build and train machine learning models. So if you have some knowledge, some basic experience in training and building machine learning models, Azure Cloud provides an absolutely amazing framework where you use any tools you like, any resource you like, any libraries you like, compile the model, train the model, build the model from scratch and deploy it. Deploy high quality AI models as APIs. Now this is something we are interested in. You're deploying models as APIs. Now in the video, we saw farmers using artificial intelligence. So you don't expect you pele chemena course up a course karenge and ruka, and then they'll come back and they'll develop a system from scratch, then use it in their farms. Absolutely not, right? Sounds ridiculous. So will you be using these APIs? For students like you and me, we don't need to build everything from scratch. There's already experts doing that for us. We just need to call these models. Uh, tell them to predict and that's it. The job's done. Quickly build, quickly build AI solutions for common business processes. You could streamline an entire business with the help of AI. A single guy could probably set up an end, set up an industry with the help of this. You can streamline document processing, bill collections. Um, a virtual assistant could be set up. Imagine you're a web developer. You've developed a website. You've put it up. Everybody likes it, but there are a lot of queries coming in and you need to sort them according to relevance. You need to sort them according to topic. So what you'll do, you'll build a chatbot or you'll take a chatbot. You'll ask someone, Ki, hey, I need this, this chatbot, build it for me. You'll pay, pay them. But the help, with the help of AI services in Azure Cloud, you can build it yourself and you don't even need to have that level experience in ML. So this is what we'll be focusing on, but it's all well and good. How do I get started? What are the tools and skills required to get started with Azure? Oh, I've made a spelling mistake over there. Anyways, moving on. All you need is Visual Studio Code, GitHub account, and GitHub Student Developer Pack, and Azure credits. How many of you guys have used Visual Studio Code? Put it in the chat, Visual Studio Code or any other editor. Great, so you are probably familiar with how a code editor works. So I'll just walk you through the process key. If you haven't, no worries, we'll do it right now. This is the entire, just click on the link. I'll post it at the end of the session. 
click on the link and you will get the option for windows linux and mac what do you have to do while downloading when it downloads click on it open it run it next 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 accept all terms and conditions that's it you're done it isn't very hard the extension you will be needing is intellisense and html snippets if it's not there no worries it doesn't matter the next is github student developer pack what is github student developer pack this is actually pretty amazing um in chrome go ahead and search github student developer pack click on the first link that pops sign up for student developer pack go ahead and get student benefits okay so i've already got the student developer pack so it won't be showing the exact same screen to you guys you will need to upload uh, your college mail id the one which shows mesco.org.onemicrosoft.com and your student uh, id card as proof after that you'll get something like this congrats your request for your github user id was approved now like it's i've already submitted four seven requests because it got rejected a lot of time i have no idea why but if it will take you some time if it doesn't work no worries we'll figure out a different way after you get something like that like this congrats it has been approved go to students and get your student developer pack now let me tell you why this was very amazing it's because you get these benefits name cheap a one year domain registration you could get something like your name.com.me.live to host your website jet brains coupon name.com bootstrap studio get up pages host your website on get up pages for absolutely free and the list goes on and on just look at the benefits you're getting if you go on youtube and search get up student developer pack they say it pro you probably save around 3 lakhs on this but we are not interested in everything we are interested in microsoft azure now after getting this you will get something like get access by connecting your github account on microsoft azure click on it you will get this uh with azure for students and click on start free sign into your account remember it has to be on mesco.org.onemicrosoft.com click on sign in complete the verification process it will ask you to it won't ask you to upload your college uh, id card but it will ask you for the mesco.org.onemicrosoft.com that mail id confirm it and there you have as your credits so with github student developer pack you get a lot of it but as well as microsoft azure so the one way was getting azure with the help of github student developer pack the second way is verification codes so like i mentioned in the previous slides that we are backed by microsoft we are i am in talks with the community project manager for getting verification codes for the first 80 students if i get it it's all well and good you'll get access to azure cloud for 3 months and it will be absolutely free it will take some time so i guess you guys have to be patient if github student developer pack doesn't work and if and only if we don't get the verification codes which is highly unlikely but let's prepare for the worst case scenario then i don't recommend this but go to microsoft azure and uh, then you'll have to add in your credit card it doesn't auto deduct so you'll be on the safer side but let's hope we don't come to that point all right so that has been it we've uh, seen how ai and ml helps in real world applications we've seen how microsoft ai is helping people we've seen what prerequisites you guys require and how we are going to move ahead So Pratamesh thank you this has been my time and you've been a great audience thank you Yeah thank you so much man it was an amazing session uh the store is open for uh any questions guys so if you have any query just type it in in the chat box
pretty sure you might all must have some questions attention pe kiya hai to question to honge hi any queries regarding installation or anything if you guys don't have questions i'll just assume that i taught the session brilliantly So Ibrahim has asked a question: Which language is more preferred, Python? So I'm guessing you're asking: Is Python more preferred? So for AI and ML, Python is preferred. But if you don't know Python, no worries. In the offline event which we are going to take, uh, which we are going to conduct, you will just be requiring JavaScript and HTML. So it is preferred when you are developing everything from scratch or you are starting to learn AI ML, but not for our sessions. Wherever we ask, is there any web development event? we had a web development event where we asked students to develop portfolio it was like a virtual hackathon kind of thing and i guess a lot of people attended if you want to go through it it's present in a youtube channel okay i'll just post in the links for uh, the visual studio and github student developer pack Ibrahim, I'm not sure if there's an upcoming boot camp, but if there is one, we'll surely inform you guys. Is this the last session, or there would be more? So, Saksham, this is just to get you guys to save time in the main event, which is going to be conducted on 21st, so that we don't waste time installing everything, getting the student developer pack and all that. And that's it. So, this is not the last session. The, we'll be conducting an offline event yeah. on 21st. Ibrahim, I'm not sure about the coding one. Yes, what GitHub link are you talking about? Because okay, okay, the student developer one, yeah. How to get a T-shirt? Just asking. So this was an event being conducted by GDG Pune in Viman Nagar. It was an offline event, and I guess we were just paying attention a lot, so they decided to give us T-shirts. To be an alpha MLSA. Manish, I guess you're already in the works of applying for the lead application. If it doesn't work out, we'll surely look in MLSA program. Technical background, you need, Shraddha has asked, what is the technical background needed for MLSA? So you need to be not extremely proficient in every technical aspect that you've decided to take part in. You need to have some technical knowledge. Basic technical knowledge also works. And more importantly, Oh, they prefer how dedicated you are towards the community, how dedicated you are over helping others. If it uh, reflects in your video, if it reflects in your answer, you will surely get selected. Are there any programming prerequisites can complete? Yes, this is why this I was mentioning this will be one for kind event because there is no programming prerequisites required. I will write down the code. I'll explain each and every line and absolutely any beginner can join in. How to get goodies from Google and Microsoft. So join a GDAC, become an MLSA. That's all I know. In Visual Studio, we want to install extensions or not. It is completely up to you guys because IntelliSense is an extension which auto completes your code, gives you different colors and gives indentations and all that. So if you want, you can install the extension 
or it is completely fine if you don't install it. Sanskruti has asked, if we take courses in ML or AI, what more to do after? After taking the courses, the only logical step to do is do projects, take part in hackathons, show your knowledge, collab with other people so that you understand how they understood the same content that you did. So this is basically what I followed. I did a course, made a few projects, took part in a hackathon, secured the eighth rank, and here I am now. I'm currently working on full stack web development. Do we have any event? Um, I'm not sure that we have any upcoming events, but if we have, we'll surely inform you guys. How can we join GDSC? So there's the community platform link that will be shared. If you, uh, Pratamish, we can share the community page link. Just click on it, click on join chapter, and that's it. You're a part of GDSC. You'll get updates. Click on get uh, updates via email and you'll get all updates about upcoming sessions. I joined GDSC and joining like this classes, but I have to join hackathons or to come to get in Kahoot. I'm not sure what you meant by that, but um, yeah, obviously if you are doing a project, uh, after that, you could take part in hackathons because hackathons help you to know where you stand. You get to learn from others. You get to learn how others are working, how a team works. And that's it. And to get first rank in Kahoot, I guess you'll have to be fast. What are the perks of being MLSA? So there are a lot of benefits like you get we you get a lot of resources and I'm not even kidding. You get mentors, you get guides, you get personal guidance from people working in Microsoft or people beyond that. So uh, lastly, uh, last I remember we were working on a social event, social league project where we were going to track endangered species and uh, help prevent uh, hunting and poaching. And we had experts come in from that field from uh, national parks from wildlife sanctuaries guide us keep what the current system is and all of this are the perks of being mlsa along with a very cool t-shirt id card a rubik's cube a stress ball that you get as goodies for mlsa do we have to focus on particular one domain or just to check technical knowledge Technical knowledge is just one aspect of it. You are also being judged on how uh, dedicated you are to helping others because this is a community where we just aren't about developing ourselves and moving ahead. It is a community where we take everyone with us and move ahead. So if you're applying for it, your main focus has to be that point. An important perk I missed out, you get a free name domain. As MLSA, you get Office 365 subscription. You get Visual Studio, the premium edition. You get Teams ka premium version. Yeah. What, Jivesh, uh, what will we get when? Half question, okay. So if you want the those goodies badly, I would recommend not to go for the MLSA program. Try something else. Because if you are after the goodies, then it is not a very good motivation to go into the program because goodies keeps motivated. Absolutely it does, but I still haven't received my goodies. So it's a long way to go. We are active in GDSC community, I'll say. We have a lot of contests and events. So we give out a lot of goodies in those weeks. This I got in a different event. This is not related to Microsoft or GDSC. All right, any other questions from goodies and benefits? If you... <laughs> any other questions from web development, goodies and folks? <laughs> No questions, I guess.
ரெஜிஸ்ட்ரேஷன்ஸ்ட்ரேஷன்ஸ்ட்ரேஷன்ஸ்ட்ரேஷன்ஸ்ட்ரேஷன்ஸ்ட்ரேஷன்ஸ்